Hello my dear art friends Today's video is very special to me I consider this as a little gift to myself I am going to be painting on this dresser that's in my studio and give it a beautiful makeover but before we start I want to share why I decided to do this and what inspired me to do this So a couple of days back as usual I was just getting ready and I was looking at myself in the mirror and I realized how critical I am of the way I look. I kept wondering I wish my eyes were bigger, I wish my hair was nicer and I wish my skin was clearer. I can go on about the things that I saw in myself that I didn't like. And while I was sitting and thinking about these things, this amazing idea just came to me. I was inspired to create something that would remind me to love myself every single day despite my imperfections. And what better than creating it on this dresser that I use every day and I'm so excited to take you all on this journey with me. A journey of self-acceptance and of course lots of art and creativity. I asked myself, what do I want to create? And so to start, I took a picture of the dresser and traced it out on Procreate. And first just analyze the surfaces I want to work on. So I figured I have the two sides and of course the front side with the mirror. And as I was thinking about the idea of self-acceptance and how I want to express that, I was inspired to create something that reminded me of all that I am, the mind, the body and the soul. And I decided to dedicate each section to one concept. And I want to start with the body. I was uh, roughly sketching out the design here because this is a little awkward right like it's a very narrow space here and then we have a little bit of area here I'm just trying to see how to kind of get a flow going so I'll probably like get it flowing like this um, I was just trying out a rough sketch here and I'm going to now coat this laminate I'm going to use a wood primer as a base but before that let's sand the surface
when i was sketching i imagined a female character lovingly holding herself i did not plan the complete artwork at this stage instead relied on my intuition to guide me the topic of self acceptance is very personal to me and because this section is dedicated to the body i wanted to portray the main character embracing and hugging her body loving herself even with her imperfections and insecurities and for many years i was very sensitive to this topic it took me years to accept and love myself fully and i believe i'm still working on it and one of my biggest insecurities was my curly hair when i was younger i've been teased and made fun of for having big curly hair and as an adult now i understand it doesn't really matter what people say but my younger self who was just about 5 to 6 years old didn't know that and for years i rejected my curly hair i resorted to artificial ways of keeping my hair tamed to basically look like everyone else it took me 21 years to realize that what i was doing was just reinforcing what the world was telling me was wrong with me this is not to say that there is anything wrong with getting a hair straightening or a treatment of the skin or hair in fact i feel it's a way of self expression i get them done too but i feel doing it with the intention of getting approval or acceptance from others is giving up our way to them on 1 january morning of 2016 i decided i'm going to stop letting the world decide my worth I thought if out of all the possibilities the creator decided for me to have this hair this complexion this body type then there has to be a reason for it and I wanted to experience that so instead of complaining or cribbing about it I decided to embrace it and see what's the best I can do with it to my surprise 6 years later I would have never thought that I would be proudly owning my curly hair and in fact giving advice to other people who have curly hair when we start confidently carrying ourselves and flaunting our insecurities i feel the world starts seeing the beauty in that i feel the key to everything is to know that we're all so unique and that's our biggest gift Even though right now I only mentioned one aspect of me that I have accepted there are so many things I'm still accepting and still working on and even if sometimes I fail to show kindness towards myself for the way I look I remind myself that it's okay self acceptance is a journey it's not something that will just happen overnight and i hope this dresser acts like a reminder for me every day to love every aspect of myself fully and i always remind myself that only hurt people hurt so it doesn't matter what the world says i feel everyone's dealing with their own insecurities in their own way 
so let them be them and you be you and maybe someday your biggest insecurity will become your greatest strength So friends that's part 1 of the dresser makeover dedicated to self acceptance of the body for some reason i felt like sharing my personal story with you all it would be great if you all can share your experience of accepting yourself uh, in the comments down below and let's have a beautiful conversation there and also stay tuned for the part 2 and part 3 of the dresser makeover where i'll be painting the rest of the parts of the dresser if you like the video please don't forget to like and share it really really helps my channel grow and i really want to thank you all for watching and i wish you all love and light and i'll see you in the next one bye